Hello, excuse the uh, grubby look. Um, I'm just redecorating the youth office at the moment. Uh, so it, as part of um, redecorating the office, there have been many, many cracks in the walls, many cracks in the wall. Uh, I'm actually surprised there is still a wall there once I opened up all the cracks. Um, <laughs> But having done that and having seen sort of the cracks that are there and then having filled it, which is what all these white marks are behind me and sort of on this wall here, uh, that's not just the pattern of the wall, that is all the cracks that were on, on the wall and I've opened them all up and I have filled them all. Um, and then by the time I paint it, you will see no cracks and hopefully no filler marks either. And in some respects, this brings us very nicely onto our midweek thought, and this is um, sort of prompting me for the verse, uh, which comes from Colossians chapter 1, verse 20, which says, And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Now, see, for me, these sins kind of represent sort of, sorry, these sins, these, these um, cracks in the walls represent sins in our lives. Some of the cracks here were really, really big, uh, some were really small, some were hairlines on there you just couldn't see. Um, but nevertheless, they were still there, they were still apparent when you kind of got up close and you saw them. And especially once I got the knife in and opened them all up, they were really visible. But you see, using the filler, I filled all of those cracks in. Yes, you can kind of see what's left, but once I then start putting a coat, proper coat of paint over it, you won't see it, that, that will disappear. And the verse that I've read is, is very much the same. We all do bad things, uh, whether it be small hairline little sins or whether it be big, huge crack sins. Um, but nevertheless, none of them are too big for God to reconcile. They're not too big for him to cover over with his blood and go, that's gone, that's clear. You know, I kind of wish there was a bit of a before and after because, you know, not that I'm tech savvy, but it'd be good to just go, whoop. Um, but just imagine this wall being a lovely colour, you know, um, and you can't see any cracks anymore. And that is the same with us. When we've done wrong, when we sin, uh, and we may have sinned today, we may have sinned yesterday, um, and if we haven't, we'll most likely shall. Um, but whatever it is, give it to God, turn it to God, and say, you know, God, I'm, so, I'm sorry I got mad at that cyclist on the road. I'm sorry he was hogging up all of that road. Please forgive me, you know, give me the patience to not get angry at the next cyclist that's on the road. Because no matter what we do, God has shed his blood on the cross for us. He's gone, yeah, that anger, boom, that's mine, give that to me. Yeah, that jealousy, boom, that's mine, give that to me. See, he has claimed every bad thing that we've done, every wrong thing. He said, that is on me. I took that whilst we were on the cross. So whatever that thing is that you've done, boom, give it to me. Because I've already taken it, give it to me. Because I've taken it. I don't want you walking around with that sin. I don't want you walking around with that big crack. Here, give it to me. So, whatever it may be, just remember that God is bigger than us. And that his blood that was shed on the cross wipes away all of our sins. And all we have to do is we turn and we give it to God. I hope you have a great week and I'll speak to you soon.